Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Nick Gray, and today we're doing another smartphone camera comparison with the iPhone 16 Pro and comparing it to something that's a little bit different, the Pixel 8a from Google, which is a mid-range device to see how Google's mid-range smartphone actually compares to Apple's latest flagship device. So let's take a look at some side-by-side -side photo and video comparisons to see how these two devices stack up in everyday use. Let's take a look. For video capture on both of these devices, we're starting off with the ultra wide cameras recording 4K video at 30 FPS. Moving in then to the main sensor, getting in just a little bit closer, which is always great. The main sensor is always going to be the one with the best dynamic range. And then 2x digital zoom on both of those. But the iPhone does have the advantage here being able to go all the way to 5x telephoto getting in a lot closer to your subject here one thing to note the iphone can capture up to 4k 120 fps from that main sensor and the pixel can only do 4k 30 from the ultra wide and the main since the main is the only one with 4k 60 fps and this here's a look at video capture from the selfie cameras on both of these devices 4k 30 fps though the iphone is capable of 4k 60 but one thing i do want to point out the pixel 8a even though it is a mid-range device it's one of the only devices within that category that can actually record 4k video from the selfie cameras so definitely gets a little bit of credit on that front the iphone is more than double the price when compared to the pixel 8a just keep that in mind
I can't even see you. You're missing your hat. I miss here to look at video capture with the selfie cameras on both of these devices. Honestly, the iPhone is the definite winner in these conditions. The Pixel just can't compete. Uh, as you can see, it turns me blue when there's nothing blue about the lighting here right now. But if you want to always have the best video possible, I always recommend switching over to the main sensor, which I'm going to show you right now. And here we go, video capture from the main sensors on the back of both of these devices. This is always going to be the better option, especially in low light situations like this. So if you can record with that main camera on the back of the phone, I always recommend you try.
And that's gonna do it for this camera comparison between the iPhone 16 Pro and the Pixel 8a. Let me know what you think of in the comments below, which device you would rather use on a day-to-day -day basis for your photos and videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.